So how can investors take advantage of the investment in wind farms? Joining us now is Wolf Research Senior Analyst Steve Fleischman. My first question is going to be slightly uh, facetious, but, I, but, I, but I'm curious, who owns the wind? What gives the federal government the right to auction off wind? Yeah, so the federal government owns the, uh, uh, has the rights to the ocean waters. So this, this is just the ability, people have the ability to build and permit a wind turbine in these locations. How far out do um, those people rights are starting go? To pay a lot for that. How far out do those rights go, Steve? And where would these wind uh, uh, turbines go? How far? How far offshore? So some of them are tens of miles out, and uh, they're huge turbines, and they are basically uh, put foundation right to the to the bottom of the seafloor. Mm -hmm. And there's transmission cables uh, that bring the, the power onshore. So one would think that as the as companies bid for these uh, leases to put tower, uh, towers, not towers, uh, turbines in, in, the, in the seabed, uh, that the companies that are doing the building are going to benefit. Which ones do you think have the best chance to benefit should this, these projects go through? So the biggest global player is a company called Orsted, which is a Danish company. It's a very large company. Uh, and they've done some of the earlier projects here in, in the United States. But there's a lot of competition already for offshore wind. Uh, a lot of the big oil companies, for example, they want to diversify into cleaner energy. And they obviously know how to do things in the, uh, in the ocean. Uh, as they drill for oil in the oceans, yep. they know how to work in this. And they, the, the projects are very large. And they're of a size where the, the, the big global oil companies have a lot of interest as well. And some of the utilities, too. Yeah, uh, I was going to ask you, what about the utilities, whether it's uh, a National Grid or Dominion or whomever? So the utilities typically uh, will look to partner with others because they, this is new for them. Mm -hmm. So they, they've several have partnered with, with Orsted or other global players. And a lot of the utilities want to build the transmission lines that take mm. the wind to the shore and then obviously onshore as well. So what are the potential, okay, so they have this auction, they announce the auction. Um, what are the potential obstacles from, ironically, environmentalists who might oppose the idea of, of these installations in the seabed? Uh, they might interfere with uh, migratory patterns of birds or whales or Whatever. What are the what are the what are the obstacles that onshore real estate interests might have that we don't want to be able to see these turbines from our high rise yeah. on Coney Island or uh, on Long Beach Island in New Jersey? Yeah. So it's it's the same NIMBY, not in my backyard stuff. Although obviously a lot of these are now oceanfront properties and the like that we're we're dealing with. So people people don't want to see them, and they don't want even. The transmission lines coming, you know, near their homes, uh, bringing the power on. So, you have some of that. You have the fishing industry is mm -hmm. very vocal uh, on this, um, and then a lot of the issues are just this is the first time we're doing these projects, and uh, the first one is supposed of scale is supposed mm -hmm. to come online in 23 and are 24. These, of some of forgive me for lines. interrupting, Steve, but but I, I want to get this question in. Are these various interests who might oppose? Um, uh, these wind farms, are they likely to tie up these projects in the courts for a long period of time or uh, prevail in, in getting them uh, a stay of, uh, of performance? They might tie them up a little bit, but, but we think they're, these projects are, are moving forward. Mm -hmm. They obviously now have a lot of support from the Biden administration. Right. Um, and we're, you know, they've, they've made a big difference in moving forward a lot of the permitting and siting. So we think they'll move forward. They just take a long time and they require a lot of construction yeah. process. We're obviously in an inflationary environment for construction costs. Right. They require special ships to even bring the turbines in. So uh, it's, it's, it's a challenging process to really get them up and going. Yeah, really quite amazing. Steve Fleischman, thank you very much for your time today. We appreciate it. Kelly.